Hello everyone, my name is Spy3GB and welcome back to episode 2 of my Terraria Let's Play! When we left off, we started ourselves a brand new world and we've also got ourselves a nice little house right here. As you can see, the guide has moved in and since the last episode, I actually went ahead and I flattened out this land a little bit. So of course we can make ourselves some more buildings, maybe a storage house, maybe some functional buildings. You know, we can get all kinds of things done. That bunny was invading my land, so as a result, he had to die. I'm sorry, but that's how it works in my world. Right, okay, so we have 56 stone blocks. And what we can do with them is, if we go over to the crafting table or the workbench, we can make ourselves a furnace, hopefully. Yes, let's get the furnace. There we go, fantastic. And we can... Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> so careless with my furnace. I'm just chucking it around. There we go. Okay, now we can make ourselves some lead bars, which is cool. And if we go down here, we can go ahead and make ourselves a lead anvil. So we can put that there. And then we can go ahead and make ourselves a lead broadsword, which straight away is a very good upgrade. And I got a slow one. Great! Okay, we got ourselves a slow one. Luckily, it doesn't do any less damage. We still got 11 damage, but it just is slower. Hmm. Oh well, doesn't matter too much. Right, but anyways, what I want to do in this episode is I would like to upgrade my armor a little bit. A lot of you guys are saying that getting cactus armor is a good idea at the start of the game. And I think so too, so as a result, we are going to do exactly that. Luckily, chopping down cactus plants doesn't take a very long time at all. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I think I'm alright with this. Although, to be honest, I'm pretty sure you can just go ahead and uh, uproot it, right? There we go. Well, that's quite a lot easier. <laughs> hey, buddy! I can kill you so much easier now. Get out of my way, fool. What the hell? You think you can tank me on? Me, the mighty python? Really? Go on, get out, you fool. Get out. All right, you're done. Come on, Mr. Eyeball. Right, you're done. You're... Oh, God. Okay. All right. I'm not going to die today. It's not happening here, ladies and gentlemen. It is not happening. Right. We have a total of 59 cactus. Uh, okay, make that 69. Ha! <laughs> Giggity! LOL! So immature, I am 12 years old. Right, anyways. <laughs> we should probably grab some more. We should probably grab some more, because apparently you can build a whole bunch of stuff with cactus nowadays. As well as army, you can make all kinds of decorative items. You can make, like, cactus lamps. Cactus, uh... Oh, what the bloody are those? Ah, uh, They've got a proper name, I don't know what they are. Those little table lamps. Candelabra? Is that it? Something like that. Something ridiculous. Right. How much have we got? 113. All right. Okay, so if we mine this really quick. There we go. All is good. Oh, right. Now what I want to do is get over here, but uh, that may be a... Oh, damn it. Hi. Yeah, where are you going, fool? It's daytime. You shouldn't even be alive, fool. Get out. Get out. Ow. What the hell? Dude, why? Why you do this? At least you gave me an hour. That's pretty damn cool. Okay, this is like the worst way of building anything ever. Okay, can I... Oh, that was easy. Why well, the hell didn't I just do that the whole time? Why am I just blooming wasting time being an idiot and doing parkour building? That doesn't work too well in my opinion. <laughs> oh my god. But I want to thank you guys for the support you showed in episode 1. That's actually really insane. <laughs> it's good to know that you guys like content other than Minecraft. Because it gives me hope. It gives me a little bit of hope. It means that I can actually do content other than Minecraft and people will still like it. So yeah, I, I want to thank you guys for that. I really do appreciate it. Right. Oh, hey, a chest. Holy crap. Uh, a hurtful wooden boomerang. Uh, well, might as well. Why the hell not? Uh, rope. Okay, that's a good thing. Uh, got some tin bars and some of them. Torches. Nice. Right, we have over 50 silver coins, which means if we build ourselves another NPC house, the, the, uh, the merchant should be the next NPC to spawn. Right. Hey, buddy. Uh, you're dead. Right, moving on. What have we got? I still don't know if we've got ourselves a crimson world or a corruption world. Hmm, maybe we'll find that out today. Who knows? What's, what is this? What is this? A weird cave? I'm going to have to explore it. There may be chests down here. Oh my god. Right, what have we got? What have we got? Uh, Alright, nothing there, nothing there. Oh, I'm okay with this. Uh, let's go ahead and rope our way out of it. Because that's what you do in this game now. Because Terraria is so amazing like that. You can get around real easy now. There we go. I will get that chest. I just want to see if there's any more. What the, what the hell? I think, I think we've got a large tree above us. Oh my god. If it's a big large tree, then uh, I'm going to set up base there, dudes. I've always wanted to make myself a tree base. 
in Terraria. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure it is. We've got a bot ton of cobweb as well, so we should be able to set our spawn point if we're lucky today, so that'd be fantastic. Alright, what have we got? Uh, oh! Armoured climbing claws! Oh, screw you, jagged! Armoured absolutely is beastly. Look, plus three defense. We've got six defense with wood armor. God damn, dude! That's amazing. Right, okay. Uh, as I keep saying, it's amazing. It just is. Right, uh, I'll tell you what, let's just do that. There we go. Just so I can actually make this thing. Okay, so we'll just do this really quick. There we go. Navigating the world of Terraria. Right, what are we going to have up here? How big is this large tree? Hopefully, please be a very big one. I wouldn't mind one with a thick stalk either. A thick stalk would be a good thing because then I can just go ahead and burrow inside of it. Which uh, sounds weird, I must admit, but it's it's something you can do. It's something you can do. There we go. Let's just get that out. Okay, there we go. Let's go up this tree. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be a very large tree. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I would have to go up it to the top so I can see how tall it really is. But judging by how thin the stalk gets up there, I don't imagine this really is a very big tree at all. I don't know, I might be mistaken, I might not be. Whatever the case, let's go ahead and continue exploring, just a little bit. Let's get this vase right here. There we go. All is good today, ladies and gentlemen. All is good. We have four chests at our disposal, which is a damn good amount. We've got ourselves enough cobweb to make two beds. <laughs> so if ever we, we want to make ourselves a holiday home, then uh, we can do it. You know, we can just go ahead and do it. You know, we don't even have to think about it. Because it's our world and we can do whatever the hell we want. Which is good. Hey, dude. I can't hit you. Why? Hmm. You appear to be glitched out. What the? What? Alright, you can still get out. But, you know, you getting out means you have to die as well. So, I'm sorry, but that's how it works in this world. Uh, mushrooms? Eh, probably not. Bodhi! Bodhi, Bodhi, Bodhi. Damn it. Okay, the blooming... Yeah, stupid thing. The blooming boomerang doesn't go very far, does it? Ah, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Right, okay. Damn, dude. Ooh, another large tree. This one appears to be even larger. Oh my god. And there is a massive forest right next to it. Oh my god, this is like the perfect place to set up a base. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen. I think we find ourselves a, uh, a place to move to. This is awesome. Right, okay. Ah, it's got one of these places as well. So if we just go inside here really quick. Uh, if we just place down a torch here. And let's put one in here, for example. Oh, look at this. We got ourselves a leaf wand. So we can place down leaf blocks. Which is weird because placing leaf blocks actually involves using wood. Yes. Try to figure that out. Is that diamond up there? I think that might be diamond. It's either emerald or diamond. It's, it looks like a turquoise type gem. What is this? It's a very small amount, whatever it is. I think it might actually be diamond. Oh, I love me some diamonds. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. This place appears to go down even further, so I don't see why we shouldn't go ahead and see what's going on. Alright. Okay. Hello. Ah! Okay, that could have gone to my death, but it did not. Which is good. Hmm. Well, this is highly disappointing. There's nothing here. Hmm. All right. All right. Hey. Okay. Can't make it up there. So let's use some ropes again. What a disappointing place. All right. All right. No, no matter. No matter. It's all good. Right. Now, the question is, should we build... No. No. I've got a good idea. What we should do is we should build all our storage rooms, like, down in this room, sort of underground the tree. Sort of, like, in the underworld of the tree, if you get what I mean. And then inside of the top of the tree that is where all our NPC should go I think that would be a pretty damn cool idea I actually do think that would be a pretty damn cool idea we already have some furniture so we can get ourselves another NPC going right a cactus workbench I mean if it saves us from using wood I don't know man I mean it's not like we don't have a lot of wood right beside us so <laughs> that's good that's good alright get killed alright you're done uh, let's get ourselves Two dolls? Ah, no. You're not getting in there. Not at all. It's not happening. Ah, oh, there we go. A cactus candelabra. Uh, a cactus lamp. A cactus candle. A cactus lantern. A bathtub? What the hell? A cactus pickaxe? 
Yeah, why not? I mean, it does slightly more range. Look, this one has minus one range. Does this one have the same range or does it do Yeah, it does a whole lot. It does six blocks. Nice. All right. Uh, what else can we make? Can we make anything else? And we've got cactus armor, obviously. Okay, let's make these then. Here we go. Oh, baby. Right, and let's equip these. It should bring our defense up quite nicely. We did have six. We now have eight. We've got eight defense now. Oh, man, that's awesome. I like that. We are actually doing pretty damn well. Right, okay. I guess we've got to go ahead and uh, mine out the inside of this tree so I can make some wooden platforms so we can get up and down the tree and stuff. So, yes. I imagine you guys probably don't want to see this one. So what I'm actually going to do is fast forward this a little bit so you guys can uh, actually see me doing this. But, uh, you know, oh, the frame rate's dropped. Why? 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 Why you drop? Why you drop? You went down to 30 frames per second. And unfortunately, due to the way this game is coded, it actually slows down the game physically, like, the frames aren't synced. In fact, no, the frames are synced to the game. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but basically, you'll notice if there's a frame drop. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, that's what I'm saying. Gonna fast forward this a little bit, guys, and I shall see you guys in a minute! <laughs> Alrighty guys, as you can see, I have now gone ahead and I've hollowed out this tree and indeed we can go ahead and get inside the tree which is pretty damn awesome. Oh my god, this is so cool. I love making tree bases. There's just something so cool about them. I, I don't know why man. You may have seen in my Twitter, I've actually made myself a tree house before with a bunch of NPCs inside of it and uh, I don't know man, I kind of want to try and replicate it because I like it. I like it, man. <laughs> there's, should, there's no other reason apart from that. I, I just really like making tree houses. They look really damn cool. And if you make them functional, then that's just an added bonus, right? But yeah, everything is looking pretty damn good on this world right now. Right, okay. So, what have we got left? We've got tin bars. We have ourselves some lead ore. Right, okay. So, where is our workbench? I would like to try my hand at making some things. Do I have enough to make a furnace? No, I need to make some torches, right? Okay, uh, torches, boof, okay, back to this, and furnace, go there. Thanks, buddy. Right, uh, lead, thank you very much. Damn it, I need my anvil back. Ah, crap, I left it behind. Because I need to make chains. Wait, do I need to make chains? Make chains for what? Oh yeah, the chains for the sawmill. You need chains for a sawmill. God dang it. Alright, we're not going to make a sawmill today. Alrighty. But I guess on that note, guys, it is time to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you did indeed enjoy the episode, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. We'll probably be working on this space a little bit more in the next episode. But uh, yeah, for now, we've got the outline done and it's basically ready to be filled in. So yeah, thanks once again, guys. And I shall see you guys next time. <laughs>